Okay, well, <laughs> could be the most boring video ever, but for some reason, I absolutely love drum editing, even though at times I find it so annoying. Um, but there's something about it I just really, really love. I find it therapeutic. I think that might be it. If you are a Reaper user, then you will find, you may find this video this short throwaway video, somewhat interesting. Um, I learned how to drum edit from Mike um, from the YouTube channel, Let's Talk About Reaper, which is an incredible channel and everyone should head over there now and subscribe, but you're probably already subscribed. And um, I learned how to do this type of drum editing from Mike's um, Promix Academy course. And it's really cool because he shows it to the extent where you can do these one button edits, like what I've got going on here. So when I click in this region of the track, I get a split. When I click, you can see my cursor changes. And when it changes over to this region of the track, I can move what I want around. And this makes things so quick. Now there's a way to do it with a few more button clicks and more of a manual process, but when you get this one rock and roll in, it really is just wonderful. So today is a drum editing day, um, working with a really fun band. And before we get too deep into the mix, we're gonna make these drums just a little tighter because I really think it has a huge impact on the song. Um, more often than not and I really like this way of doing it not only because as I say I find it weirdly therapeutic but because it still keeps a very human element to it you can see here that I'm never going to get it bang on it's never going to be perfect I mean, I'm kind of eyeballing it but it's making the drums tighter while making it still quite human um, there are times Maybe we'll see it while I'm doing this. There are times where the kick is, you know, could be, it could be moved, but I just won't. And it's like a real conscious decision um, because there's no need to, there's no need to, you know, we want to keep it sounding like a real drummer, but we just want to tighten up some parts. So right here, I'm really focusing on the kick and the snare but I also am keeping an eye on the toms because this is a very tom heavy song, it has a lot of fills. So um, occasionally you'll see me scroll down there. See, here's a good example. There's no need to touch that. And you know, I'm sure if we zoomed in, could we? Yeah, but no, we're definitely not going to. So for all those who also use Reaper, I really, um, really recommend checking out Mike's course. I think it's fantastic. Um, it's really, really well um, presented. And I often go back and just refer to it. I did that today before I started. I was like, I wonder if I could speed this up in some kind of way. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's all this is. Quite a boring video. If nobody watches it, it's because I totally understand. <laughs> or if you don't make it through to this far is what I mean. I totally understand. But I thought I would just uh, throw this up there and yeah, just see uh, what other people think about drum editing and if you enjoy it as much as I do, which is weird. Anyway, that's about it for now. See you at the next video.